Welcome back to Banished, everybody, where we are going to get in a couple of beekeepers. For now, we're only going to stick to the two. We really need to build some houses. That's our next real mission. And I'm going to start putting them in next to this guy. Uh, and I think I'm going to do these rustic abodes because I like the, uh, the disheveled look. I like where that's going. Um, and we can upgrade them, which is nice as well. So I think I'm just gonna pop a few in. I'm gonna start with six, I think. I think that'll be more than enough. And we do have the resources for it right now, so I'm absolutely fine with that. And we've got our first merchant. That's very exciting. They have ducks. Now, we could. We could get ducks. Um, that'll be 400. So if I do 150 here we might be able to trade for a single duck <laughs> it's definitely looking like an overflow thing because we've not had any no what am i trying to say i can't i keep forgetting my whole hypothesis please ignore me um so I don't think it's an overflow thing. Mainly because this is growing at a pretty normal rate. And this is just capped. Because they're creating all that. So, I think leaving that and turning that into a pig one will be absolutely fine. 150 gives us 600. So I'm going to try trading for one duck. This could, this could be terrible. But we're going to have one duck. And we're going to see if that happens. If, see if that works out. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to switch back to firewood while we are building new houses. Because um, they're each going to have to have their own supply of firewood. Which means that we will definitely have to keep it on that a lot more. So far we've made 81 honey and 27 in a previous season. Um, and a little bit of beeswax, so that's exciting. But I'm not going to bother getting us a chandler just yet, so I can turn that off. Uh, mainly because we need some more kids and we need some more um, educated people, just to start us off. That's why we're getting in their houses now. And as you can see, you can upgrade these. This one is actually quite an easy upgrade because it only requires lumber and stone. This one requires a housing supply, I believe it's called which requires you to refine some furniture and stuff and pack it all into a box, <laughs> basically. So that's fun. Uh, reserve of food is low again, so I'm going to just do a wild food run of this guy just to help us supplement that for the time being. Um, it's almost harvest time, so it shouldn't be too long before we do get to where we need to be in terms of that. I also think it's going to be very valuable to us to have some sort of um, storage for food down here. Mainly because, um, well, it's quite simple really. It's um, There's a fisherman down here and he's got to walk all the way back up to this storage barn over here to drop off any um, fish. So I think having a meat locker or something like that will be quite wise. And I can't remember where the meat locker is. That's one of these somewhere specialized storage barn meat locker there we go luckily these meat lockers don't take too much in terms of resources so i'm gonna pop one in um in fact putting three in and then pausing two of them will probably be wise because i'd like to make this dock area something a little bit more exciting um which is why i've done like a properly thick road down here as well just kind of like the idea of it being a little dock side area, which we will eventually probably have um, stone road in instead. Uh, it does make for faster travel, so I do want to kind of get that in pretty soon. Um, in fact, doing it along this road would be really useful. That's 82 stone gone though, which is really quite frustrating. So um, maybe getting a quarry in soon would be the next best thing? Um, but regardless, if we got anyone else living in the boarding house, we do. 
So I think we might need another set of houses. Maybe... Maybe, like, three more? Which is kind of sad. We're gonna have houses all the way along here. Which is gonna be... More than I was expecting to do. But it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine in the end. We have another merchant over at the... Uh, merchants outpost and they are asking they, they are offering radish apricot and apple seeds now unfortunately i really don't have the stuff to get new seeds right now so i'm just gonna leave that there um it's just it's just not gonna work out sadly so um we'll wait for the next one i'm sure we'll have the opportunity again and i'm just gonna keep increasing the priority of this um houses here but the stone road has been built, which is fantastic. I think that's going to be really nice. And let's see. There's, there's a bunch of roads here that could be really, really cool. Um, you can do, like, plaza pieces and stuff and rock bridges and all sorts of stuff. But um, for now, I think stone road is fine. No need to get all um, funny. All I really want now is a bridge over to this new area. I'm trying to get a way for it to work. The dock bridge would work. I suppose that's like a little tiny... Creek plank would probably work as well, let's see. That's just a little guy with some logs. Yeah, let's just go with that. We don't need it to be much, it's just a little tiny bridge. It's not even going to be used too much, so... Not too fussed about that. Um, have we got people still living in the boarding house? No, that's good news. So that's going to be very good. We've got two more houses yet to build. Um, and hopefully these guys shouldn't take too long to harvest. Uh, for the simple reason it's just going to be a bit of a pain for everybody involved if um, the houses are without food and we might lose a few people. Um, that tends to happen with this sort of thing. If you've build a massive amount of new homes in a short space of time they all need their own inventory of food so if you don't have that on hand you can cause a few um unnecessary starvations really um and you definitely only need one um livestock for each pasture because we now have two ducks so that's really good news um i will keep that in mind whenever i do um animal trading so that's good. Gotta say, these houses are still looking fairly full, to be to be quite honest. Um, I'm not gonna do any town hall census data yet, so I'm not gonna fuss about um, families to homes ratio or whatever that is that I normally do. Um, in the meantime, though, I do want to focus on... Did we get that meat locker in? We haven't got that meat locker in yet. It's gonna happen sometime hopefully hello i really want to get some more stone that's the biggest problem um but we just we don't have the um children or the laborers um yet so there's no point in me even trying to expand we just need to wait until this population grows up a little bit there is a trader looking at purchasing some sheep and i think since we were at our limit on um firewood i might just take him up on that offer and seeing as we only need one that'll be absolutely fine it shouldn't take too long before we have 150 i mean we should have it in a matter of seconds really and then we can have a sheep field as well not that we really have the staffing for it right now, but I'd like sheep because it means we can start creating clothing quite early on, which is not something I normally do. Um, but in this version of the game, we also have mutton from these sheep, I believe. They've, um, the Colonial Charter mod made it so that every, um, every livestock had a meat product that it produced, which is really good. So like deers have venison, and sheeps have mutton and all that sort of fun stuff. 150 and we will trade for one sheep. Thank you very much. 
look at this. I'm, I'm quite excited. I never get this far with trading this early on. Uh, probably the worst thing in the world because we haven't done very much growing. Um, so that's kind of a problem, I'd say. But we'll make it work. So I'm going to keep an eye on firewood for the time being. We have got 317, but we are approaching early winter. Um, I want to keep an eye on it because we are now making lumber for the time being with our sawmill. Um, I might up that just for the time being. Just to speed it up because then we can get back to making firewood a lot sooner as well. Uh, but having a little bit of um, lumber in here, a little 150, means that we can... Um, we can really trade for um, any sort of livestock we want, really, at any given time, which is really good. We just need to keep an eye on it, really. You don't want to overdo lumber when you've only got the one mill and um, you need firewood. Simple as, really. Oh, I didn't notice they put in that creek bridge. It's looking pretty good. It's. It's a nice entryway over to this area, which will probably have a good amount of stone. So I'm going to start wiping resources over here. Thank God they all grow back in time. Um, well, some of them do anyway. I think I may up the amount of people in our chandleries now. Not chandleries, in our apiaries. I think that would be quite good. We are a little bit low on food. But I think it's going to be okay. I think we'll make it through. I'm seriously going to keep an eye on the amount of houses we have. Because, again, we're looking kind of full in a lot of these. And if we, at any point, don't have enough room to have kids, then we lose out on kids for that generation. You know, it, it becomes very tricky to um, to deal with. You know, um, it's it's like... If they don't have enough room for another kid, they're not going to have another kid, which means our population stagnates. Uh, which, especially at the very early time when you've you've only got a few fields and pastures and you've tried to go into luxury goods, but you're being a bit silly about it. Um, that's not the best game plan, I don't think. So um, definitely keeping an eye on um, all the uh, houses is going to be very important for us. Sorry, I don't I don't want to. I'm not doing I'm not doing llamas yet. As much as I like the idea of uh, trading whenever I see an animal, I just don't have the resources for um, another pasture right now. I really need to focus on other stuff. So we have built two, I think it was two more new houses, and I feel like it's already improved matters greatly, which is very exciting, to be honest. Um, I would give these guys back gardens and make it all aesthetic, but... This starting area really isn't the aesthetic bit. I might... Mm, no. I keep seeing all these beautiful uh, things on the Steam community. There is one particular user whose name escapes me right now, unfortunately. But they just make the most beautiful, like, aesthetic looking towns with all these mod packs. And it's beautiful. And I can never, ever quite make it to that standard, I don't think. But I'd love to give it a try sometime and do a aesthetic um banished series it's very difficult whilst also playing the game so um i will probably kill off a fair few people in the process um if i were to ever do that but well uh we'll see how it do i'd like to spend some more stone on stone roads unfortunately um we don't even have enough stone for that we have enough stone for that i think i just want to get it all in stone roads to be quite honest that would be really ideal uh, they do move a lot faster on stone roads and yeah I just I think it's going to be a good thing um, very happy with the amount of kids and students we are getting now it's a lot better so very excited about that growth is definitely kind of slow in these pastures though so we'll have to bear that in mind we're not even at full on the second pig pasture so definitely something to keep in mind they're not going to be producing food for quite some time the good thing about the um the poultry ones is they do produce eggs so that's something and they start producing eggs as soon as they're there for obvious reasons you can't just stop something from producing eggs you know so yeah that's that's something of note that's quite good but um 
definitely with the um, the larger herd animals and stuff, it's less easy to create food out of them from day one, unless you buy a whole pasture's worth, which I definitely don't ever. Don't ever do that. Not me, anyway. We have no space in our storage barn, so that's going to be another problem. Uh, I will mitigate that by placing one in down here. Um, as you can see, I'm also doing something fun with the road down here. I kind of like the idea of going for a slightly more aesthetic road. Sue me, I know, I, I, I said I wasn't going to be doing anything aesthetic because I'm not very good at it, but I wanted to try. So, yeah, but it's going to take a lot of stone to get this road in, so... I will be doing it in a, a very slow amount of time, I'm sure. Um, yeah, slow amount of time is probably the uh, the best way to describe it. But at least we got this area in with the stone road and things can move nice and quickly. Um, we are very full in here, so definitely going to be a good thing if we can get this in quite quickly. Interesting thing to note, we've actually not had any deaths so far, which is kind of, kind of mad, I suppose. Um, barley, canola and pear seeds would be really nice. Barley you can make into flour to make bread, canola you can press to make oil, pears are great anyway, but no, unfortunately I am not in the market for seeds and stuff right now. Uh, my main priority is just my population. So, that's a shame. That could be a problem with why we don't have very much room in our storage barn. There is 900 beeswax in there. Um, unfortunately, we only have one laborer right now. So, that's a definite bubber, a bummer. Why did I say, ah, oh, it's because I read the word blubber while I was saying the word bummer funny that next time we get a laborer i will definitely get ourselves a chandler because using up that beeswax is going to be very important um and we've just got this in and it's already filling up quite quickly so that's also a bit of a pain um i might see about putting one in on the other side mirroring it over here i think that might look quite nice so we'll give that a try there's probably more important things we should be doing with our resources right now. Uh, what the hell kind of road did I put in over here? Oh well, we can upgrade it, I suppose. I meant to put in a, this one. Surely the builders will fix that. Please fix that, builders. I just wanted a nice big road that comes down the back here. But I feel like we probably need more houses anyway right now, so I'm just going to start putting them in. They don't need to be connected up to the road yet, but still. And it's actually quite nice that that fits beautifully along the two rows. Did we just get another labourer? We did. Hello, Chandler. You are my Chandler. Your name isn't Chandler, but still. I've just decided it is. And we've only got one Chandler for now, which is a bit of a pain. We can get two yeah two i believe um i will uh just set it to two so that we can just turn it on x the second week oh a load of people grew up never mind we're having two chandlers um get them candles um candles are kind of important for building as well but this early on in the game is absolutely fine that they're just for trade the next thing I think we will do in this here town is I think we are going to start a mining sector. Let's say sector like it's like a big deal, but no, just, just getting somewhere we can mine stuff is going to be the next plan, I believe. Um, I think that would be really nice to get going with, seeing as we are struggling for stone so much. And I really want to get these stone roads in because they do, they do just look good. So I would love that as soon as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on that on the next episode, so thank you all ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time.